Hi you guys, welcome back to my channel, The Spiritual Justice Young Goddess Quita, or you can call me Quita, either one would do, I answer to both. Um, today this video is going to be about Aaron Carter, um, who was who died not too long ago. Um, uh, God took me back to a video, or took me to a video on YouTube uh, that Latoya Jackson revealed some abuse that happened into the that, that happened in the Jackson's household, and then he took me to an interview that um, Aaron Carter's mom did, and she wanted Aaron to tell the truth of what happened between him and Michael when he was younger, and he denied it. He completely denied it, um, and he was coming forth, you guys, to tell the truth because Latoya had already. Uh, had already opened that door for that conversation to be had. I don't know if you just had watched it. I don't know. I don't know how old the, the uh, interview was. I just saw that she had an interview. And so God was telling me that that triggered some kind of um, healing um, for Aaron, uh, Aaron Carter to have. To, so he could have healing. And he was going to speak his truth. And they did, They killed him to silence him because they didn't want um, the Michael Jackson legacy to be destroyed. So they killed him. They had him blood sacrificed with magic or whatever you want to call it, spiritual work. Uh, I don't, I don't care what you really call it, but it wasn't, you know, it was through um, a manifestation. Basically, they manifest for him to be sacrificed uh, to silence him. It wasn't. He wasn't doing nothing really drastic. And um, in the interview, what what I seen a little piece of the interview with his mom. They try to make it seem like. This woman just wanted Michael's money, and that was not the case. She knew what had happened. A mother knows their child. I mean, there's so many different types of mothers out here these days, so it's not too far off to have believed that she wanted money. But um, what the Most High was telling me, because when I started my Twin Flame journey, like, what, three or four years ago, maybe a little bit more, my, um, that's when I, saw, I, I got a lot of revelations about a lot of different things. I never spoke on it, but God, I... I um. God, it just came. Like, God told me that um, Michael did uh, molest some of those kids. He did. And that's why Oprah did the interview because there is clear evidence that he did it. It's clear as day that he did it. Um, and then they, I think they tried to stop, shut Oprah up too about uh, revealing uh, what happened. But these things need to be talked about so these children can heal and so their souls can rest. People's souls can't rest when they constantly, you know, they haven't been they justified. Things haven't been justified. Uh, mothers are crying because it seemed like he got away with it, but he didn't. The most high have people in places and they will reveal your, reveal your BS, the stuff that you're doing. So if you're not healing, God is going to reveal that. Even if you do heal or if you don't heal, it's still going to be revealed. But it, it, within the healing, there is um, rest, rest, restoration, God is saying. There is a restore, and then you can you can deal with it um, and understand why you did what you did so that you don't continue that pattern and hurting people. You can say, look, I did do that, but now this is what it is. But you, you have to own the crap that you did, whether you have an entity attachment or not. You you, you had an open door, which I don't I fault Michael because he knew better um, because he knew better. He knew his actions was wrong. But you have to understand um, you have to go back and do the go through the interview and understand the dynamic because God specifically showed me I, it was like I was a fly on the wall what Joe Jackson did to michael and i never spoke on it simply not out of fear it's just I, I i guess that's why god got me doing this type of work because i don't really i like that michael jackson's music i grew up with michael jackson and it's not that i hate him at all it's not that I, it just it is what it is a lot of these stars and stuff be having um be having um childhood trauma and they a lot of these people do these rituals and stuff on their kids because they say it's supposed to like open their mind, make them feel more some 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 craziness that I, I I um read and it may true enough it may do that but yet you inflicted trauma you did so much more damage than you did helping that child or that person once you did that because the way God showed me is that I I, I don't know if it was another person involved but it's like he did not want to do that it did not. It, it, the way that it happened, it was really weird. It was really like, 
um how can I put it? It was one of those weird situations. Like the father didn't want to do that, but he felt pressure like he had to do it because like that was their way out to get money to get out of poverty. So he felt like kind of pressured to do certain things and for his kids to be a certain way and for the world to view them this way because he had this big dream. But when the most high give you a dream and the most high give you things for other people, like especially your children's life, it has to be in the most highest plan and the way the most high want it. Not what the way that you want it, not the way that you can construct a lot of things. I want it my way and it did not happen my way. I didn't, I had to learn to let go and let God. And that was a great lesson that, um, Joe could have learned. Um, but nevertheless, um, that's why Aaron Carter died because, he he was it was to silence him it was to silence his voice and that's why the most high have me to speak up at this time because it wasn't my place to tell it and the mother clearly tried to get help for her son she clearly tried to get her son to speak up and he didn't and this is what happens when with abuse victims a lot of the time because of the shame and guilt they don't want to speak up i was um i i i just want to tell this story because people have to understand that I'm not sitting here just speaking um, just what the Most High said, but I have had experience. I've been raped before, but this particular incident that I'm going to talk about happened when I was uh, um, like 12, 13 years old, and it was by a family member, and I did speak up. If I had not spoken up, he would have raped me, and I told him, I said, you're just going to rape me, your own flesh and blood. We were in um, the vehicle. He was teaching me how to drive, and my mom always my birth mother always is still there still in me if i'm not comfortable about something that i should speak up i should talk about it i should say right then and there why uh, i should just speak up about it and if i'm uncomfortable if they touch certain parts of my body that i should talk about, i should speak up right then and there my mom has always taught me that speaking up is very necessary when um even as a child, you're going to get abused either way. If the person going to abuse you, at least you did speak up for yourself. That When you speak up for yourself, in future, that after someone has done the act or done something to uh, cause a, a flick plane and abuse upon you, then you know you're going to go to the proper authorities. They they Their abuse is predicated on how they control you, how they can control your, your mind and what you say. And, how they, and that's what the whole point of... Um, a lot of uh, a lot of rapes and and all this disgusting behavior it's about control it's about dominating your energy so they can control it so that the devil can come in and do whatever he wants satan can come in and and use you as a tool an instrument of for him and that's why it's important to heal that's why it's important to speak up it's why it's important for you to say hey this happened to me this is why i'm suffering this, so that you can get the proper help because anybody that comes against you for being some for you know being raped or for having a mental illness or for anything excuse my daughter in the background for anything that was out of your control then you clearly know that there is something wrong with them because anybody in their right mind Anybody that's healed or have a peace of a heart will understand that it was not your fault. You did not do that to yourself. And on top of that, that it was not your fault, that you just need healing, love, and understanding so that you can get the proper, um, so that you can heal and get the proper uh, guidance that you need to go to take you on your journey so you don't continue to hurt other people or, or you don't have to suffer in silence. A lot of our black men, a lot of men, period, that have been raped boys, they suffer in silence due to people uh, controlling them, controlling what they think, controlling, you know, the guilt in them, the, the remorse, or some people don't even feel guilt. Some kids think it's perfectly normal, depending on how that little, what, t you know, how uh, young they were when it would happen and how their personality was developing at that time. And that's why the, a lot of people don't understand. That's why the devil predicates on kids. That's why he, he, why I say predicate, that's why he, he um yeah he sits and he 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 um how can I put it he he uh he, it's like a prey it's like a game to him he it's like he wait till you get to that tender age to want to do something very harmful and hurtful to you that should not have been done and this is where 
um, the balance is coming in within our society with people, with healers, with spiritualists, with people that done been through this, say, hey, I've been through this, spoke up and being examples. It's not that we are better than you. We just was, we did the right thing at the right time. And we're prime examples because we follow our inner God. We follow our inner knowing. We follow the most high God. And this is the example to set for others. Hey, I spoke up. You should too. It's okay. We all we all come from something. We all come from some kind of trauma. We all go through something. And that is the energy that the most high wants people to have. This is the st things you should instill in your kids. And nobody should be out here raping their kids. Nobody should be sleeping with their kids. I'm not trying to tell you what to do, but that's abuse. That's nasty. That's disgusting. You should not be sleeping with your kids. Nobody should be raping kids. Nobody should be touching kids inappropriately. It just should not happen. Kids are innocent and they should not have to go through those things. And when they do, there should be uh, repercussions to anyone. I don't care how famous you are that does that to a child or to a person that is in a vulnerable position. You should not be able to get away with that. You should not be able to live a life of luxury and have done that. You, It should not. You should not be able. And this is what the God most high is bringing in that balance for everybody, for everybody, because you should not have to endure those things. You should not. And and we're he's cutting off that curse. He's cutting off those um generational curses for those things. I watched a video of Scrappy telling his mom, I don't know about I would have done it on public TV, but he's a public figure. He stood up, he spoke up, he was like, You did and I carry this with me to let she, he validated himself, and that's the one of the most powerful things you can do is validate your own self. Cause it, clearly his mama wasn't doing it. And I hate to speak on another person's situation, but it's on TV. You know, I'm the most high showed me this tonight. And this is the information I was taking in so that I can give it to you guys. Speaking up validates yourself. It lets you know that I matter. What happened to me matter. No matter how somebody tried to excuse or dismiss how you feel or their behavior towards you, especially when it's abusive, it don't matter. You still speak up. You still stand in your truth. You. No, even if you feel, cause I used to feel so tr like after I spoke my truth, I was scared out of my mind, but I spoke up my, for myself. I validated myself and let that person know, Hey, I matter. I will talk. And nine times out of 10, if you a child that will talk a person that have a big mouth and you would tell, they don't, they don't really like, to, <laughs> they don't really like to mess with people like that. I learned that a long time ago. They, they don't. They don't like children who will speak up. They don't like they like kids who are shy that that that's um introverted. Not saying that you should change your personality, but in those type of situations, because it's detrimental to your health when somebody does this and you don't speak up. We need you to speak up because we can't guess. All we know is that we see trauma and and we don't know where it comes from. And you know what I mean? And we just want you to speak up so you can get the help that you need. And this is why these videos are made. This is why I do this. I don't have to, you don't have to pay me. You don't have to buy my spiritual service. None of that. But it's it's imperative that we heal this. And scrap, like I, I just want to go back to Scrappy story. That was, he had me in tears because that's one, and he did it on public, in public TV. That's one of the most commendable things. And not saying that he should have, he didn't even disrespect his mama, but he stood up for himself. Bravo, clap. That's a part because you don't understand. He been carrying it around, and that's why he mistreat women because it's in his psyche. It's not in his psyche. It's in his waking world, and he let her he let her know instead of. I, I think she was shocked, but she's so used to being on defense until it's probably innate to her. She him speaking up probably gave her some healing. Like you know what I mean? It may not be right away, but. Uh, Cause I really want to hold that space for his mother to to say what she need to say because she was in shock and she was on TV, so she, um, she needs to. Uh, I want to hold that space for her to just you know, hey, you never know that she might just like you know I I reacted wrong or I should have held you, I should have been there for you, I should I know this like that's the lifestyle we was born in, but hey, son, you did great even if I didn't set the be best example. Um, and a lot of times we just need to give people space to realize that. And I hope she does and understand that his, her son did that out of self-love for himself. And that was really beautiful. All right, you guys. Peace. I'm out.